Hi everyone, Caressa here, back today with a new crochet tutorial for you. Today we're going to be looking at the camel stitch. Now I've used it here in a new cowl that I've designed. It's a linen stitch fabric, but I've used the camel stitch as an edging here in a contrasting color. And the camel stitch just gives it this, uh, this sort of cord look at the edge of your project. I think it's a great way, especially in a contrasting color, to add a little finishing touch, a little pop at the edge there. Now this is really just uh, comprised of half double crochets and slip stitches, but what makes it special, what gives it that cord-like appearance is where you work those stitches. Let's take a closer look, shall we? So for this demonstration, we're going to be adding a camel stitch edging to your basic granny square. So I'm starting out with a granny square here and I've already worked the foundation round of our camel stitch border. That is just a round of half double crochets all the way around, one half double crochet in each stitch all the way around with three half double crochets in the corner to turn the corner. So half double crochets all the way around, three in each corner, and I have worked this in my main color. I've not switched to my contrasting color yet. Working this foundation round in our main color is what's gonna give us that nice crisp line between our project and our edging. So now it's time to join my contrasting color and actually start the camel stitch properly. So I'm going to grab my contrasting color here and I'm going to lay it over my hook and drop a loop to join my contrasting color. And I'm gonna give the tail of my old color a tug just to tighten that down a bit. Now I'm going to continue with my half double crochets, but to make it camel stitch, we're going to be working our half double crochets in the third loop of each stitch all the way around. What is the third loop, you may ask? Well, if we look at the top of each stitch, we have the front loop here, we have the back loop back here, but on a half double crochet, if you rotate your work around and peek at the back side, you can see there's a third loop hanging out back here just underneath the back loop. So we have the front loop, the back loop, and the third loop. And we're going to be working our camel stitch half double crochets underneath that third loop. So to start out, we wanna get up to the height of a half double crochet. So I'm going to chain two and now for my first half double crochet, I wanna work into this stitch here, but I don't wanna work into the front loop or the back loop. I wanna work into the third loop right there. So I'm gonna go, first I'm going to yarn over my hook, then I'm going to go under that third loop on the back side of my fabric, yarn over my hook and draw up a loop three loops on my hook now. I'll yarn over again and draw through all three of those loops to finish my half double crochet. I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna yarn over. I'm gonna look for the next stitch for the third loop. I'm going to go under that third loop, yarn over again and draw up a loop. So I have three loops on my hook now. And I'll complete the half double crochet by yarning over and pulling through all three of those loops on my hook. So again, yarn over, look for the third loop of the next stitch, go under that third loop, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three. So I'm gonna continue doing that, half double crochet under the third loop of each stitch across this first edge and when I get to the corner stitch, I'm going to work three half double crochets into the third loop of that corner stitch. So now I've reached the corner stitch. 
my first corner here, I'm going to yarn over, I'm going to work three half double crochets into that third loop of this corner stitch. So I yarn over, go under that third loop, draw up a loop, pull through three, I'm going to work two more into that same exact space. Yarn over, go into that same third loop, yarn over and drop a loop, yarn over, pull through three. One more, yarn over, into that same place, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over, pull through three. So I have three half double crochets all in that one stitch, that third loop of that corner stitch. Now I can continue across the next side, working just one half double crochet into each third loop. I'm going to work this all the way around, a half double crochet in the third loop of each stitch with three half double crochets in the third loop of each corner stitch. And I will meet you back at the end of this round. Okay, I've made it all the way around my granny square and I've come back to my original corner. I'm going to finish out that corner by working three half double crochets to turn the corner. I've already done one, so I'm going to put two more half double crochets in that same third loop to turn this last corner. There we go. And now I want to join it to my very first stitch by working a slip stitch into the third loop of that first half double crochet that I did at the beginning of my round. So I'm going to turn my work around and find that third loop of my first half double crochet from this round and I'm going to work a slip stitch to join my rounds. So now I've finished the first round of camel stitch besides the foundation round that I did in my main color. Now you can repeat that, one, uh, that first round as many times as you would like. If you want a really thick border of camel stitch, you can repeat that half double crochet in the third loop of each stitch all the way around. You can repeat that as many times as you like for a thicker border. Or you can jump straight to our final round which is going to be a slip stitch in the third loop of each stitch. So I've already slipped into the first stitch to join. So I'm going to continue working across into the third loop of each stitch from the previous round. I'm gonna work a slip stitch, preferably without splitting my plies. There we go. And find that next third loop, go under that, yarn over, draw up a loop and continue drawing it all the way through the loop on my hook. Into the next third loop, yarn over, draw up a loop and continue drawing it all the way through. So I'm going to work a slip stitch in every stitch in the third loop all the way around. Now for this round we do not need to work three in the corners because a slip stitch is so short, it will naturally curve around those corners. So we can simply work a slip stitch into each third loop all the way around without doing any increases at the corners. So I'm going to keep doing that. Slip stitch in each third loop all the way around and I'll meet you back at the beginning. Okay, I've made it all the way back to the beginning here. I'm going to work my final slip stitch into the third loop of that last stitch. And that's it. I have finished my camel stitch border. I will break the yarn, draw through that loop, and then I can use a tapestry needle to weave in my end there. And you can see I've created this beautiful camel stitch edging that looks like a cord attached. So each time we work into the third loop of a stitch, it forces the front and back loop of that stitch to the foreground. It forces them to the surface of the fabric. And then you get all of this, these series of tiny V's 
going all the way across, creating that cord-like appearance. So there you have it, crocheted camel stitch edging.